Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds tutorial. Now this is part two of how to stream radio using Objective-C with iOS. Now the first part of this video showed you how to connect to a shoutcast stream and using two buttons, a play and a stop button was to connect to that stream, play the audio so you could hear it through your device and then you could press stop and it would stop the stream. A very basic few lines of code application which was a demonstration on how to stream. Now. This video is going to be showing you how to pull the metadata from that stream. Just an example of what metadata is, a lot of stations will broadcast the track title and artist information with the stream. So for example, while a user is listening to a radio station app, they can see on the screen what track is actually playing. This is very, very useful. So let me just get straight into this and I'll show you how to do this. The first thing we need to do is create an IB outlet for a UI label which we're going to put onto the main storyboard. This is where the text is going to be shown to the user of the track that's being played. So let's just go ahead and create this now. Okay, so we have an out outlet declared. Let's now just go over to our main storyboard and we're gonna drag over a UI label. Now, because the text can actually be quite long coming from the metadata, I'm actually just going to just make this quite large. And what I'm also going to do is change this to three lines. Obviously this may vary depending on what's being sent from the server that you're connecting to. Over in the inspector, just going to drag the track details over to the label. Okay, so now we've done that part, uh, let's go to the main section of the M file and we need to add a few lines of code. So I've already added the lines of code here for you so you don't have to sit and wait for me to type them out, I'm just going to uncomment them. So the text which is highlighted in blue, this is adding an observer uh, to the player item for a key path of time metadata. You can pause the video here and copy or type this into your project. The next section that we need to do is go to our stop button method, which is here. Just uncomment those, and as you can see in blue, this is just for removing the observer when we press the stop button. Xcode will throw up an error, the application will crash if we do not do this. Now the next section will be here underneath. Let me just uncomment those. Okay, so the next section, which is highlighted in blue, this method is actually going to be processing the data or processing what happens when some metadata is found. I'm not going to explain what everything is done here, but the key part is once the metadata title information has been extracted from the data stream, it is then going to be assigned to our track details.txt UI label. And that's the bit of code there which does it. Let's give this a go. It's very, very easy. Let's run the project. Maybe, oh, there we go. Now click the play button. And as you can see there, the station started to play and the track details label or was populated with text from the stream now obviously with this particular station it's providing you with some information about what's currently being played and that my friends is it that is all we need to do so if you want to look at the code go back through the video pause the video on the specific areas of each of the methods which I've explained there's only about four or five different steps that you need to take so you add the IB outlet you assign a label to the main storyboard you link the IB outlet and then you add the observer remove the observer and then tell 
Xcode what to do with the key path information and then extract it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, give it a like and wait for part three, which I will show you how to add in some status notifications so you can detect if the station is not contactable or the station will not stream when you click the play button. Take care for now. Bye bye.